Okay, so Gran Turismo 7. So, if you guys clicked on this video, you're probably trying to figure out how to obtain your Class B license. And you probably just started playing the game. And you got introduced to the chick. And she's been showing you all the various different landmarks in the game. And you've got this license in place. And you're trying to obtain your Class B license. And you've probably gone through most of these because a lot of these are fairly easy. Stopping and starting tests and cornering. But it's when you get to the last two that you're probably stuck and you can't seem to get past this and obtain your class b license it's pretty much like the first mission in the game well i'm going to show you guys how to get past this and it's actually pretty simple after you get the hang of it and once you're actually able to take these skills on the road then the game actually gets a lot easier now the first thing that you guys want to definitely do is make sure you don't have auto brake on you want to be using your manual brake and i like to use my trigger so i'm using L2 and R2 as the brake and my gas pedal and so and so yes I am using a controller of course it's going to be a lot easier if in fact you're using a steering wheel but you probably got into this this is like the second to last one and it's not quite easy having to stay in the track because you've got to stay in the track I mean sure like you're going around a corner right maybe you're drifting get into the grass just a little bit but if in fact you get into the grass even just a little bit You've got to restart because you failed the mission. You've got to stay in the track. And if in fact you get past the first corner, you definitely die on the second corner. So I'm going to show you guys how to get past this. It's actually pretty easy. And I mean, it's, it's not, it's not as easy as you see, think like just push the brake and make the turn. But rather what you want to do is you don't want to let go of the gas and you want to hit the, you want to hit the brake. Then you want to let go of the gas. And you want to keep pumping the gas when you're getting around the corner it's gonna make you drift around corners is what it's gonna do and once you clear that you don't want to go too fast you want to make sure you clear the corner because if in fact you may get to the finish line and you will still fail because you didn't get there in time but if in fact you get there in time and you at least get a bronze medal you're gonna pass the course right there okay so that's the second to last one you might have got past that one but the last one is definitely not an easy task just to get your class b license because you've got to take everything that you've learned in that course into this final exam so you, you cannot touch the grass at all plus you got to make it to the end within 25 seconds and the first turn right here where they get you to break you could you just go right off the track it's, it's very hard to stay on the track the best thing i can suggest to you guys is just to go slow on the first try and use the brake and the gas at the same time and keep and when you pump the brake just keep pumping the gas a little bit so you start drifting because you you got to drift around this corner in order to make it so you can see there i was just on the grass but i did make it through and i was constantly wanting to speed through this but what you really got to do in order to get through this is you've got to really just go really slow and rather than let go of one or the other just keep pumping the gas while you're holding the brake and you'll drift around each corner and hopefully you make it to the finish line in time but as you can see there i ran out of time so i had to do it again because that's that, that's the thing like it's not that easy because you've got to be in the time as well so we're gonna run it again and uh again what you want to do is you want to break before the red because they tell you to break in the red and make so that when you hit the red zone you're actually drifting around that corner and the way you do that is you hold the gas and you you pump the brake then you let go of the gas and you keep pumping the gas while you got your foot on the brake and keep pumping back and forth the gas and the brake and you will drift around the corner and that is really what you're trying to do that's the only way you're going to get past this because i had difficulty getting past this like i was like retrying it like maybe about like 20 times this corner right here but once you get it and you think you're going a little bit slow just make sure that you clear the second corner right here because when you get past this second corner you're safe now you can just gun it and you're not going to hit the grass as long as you gun it around this corner you're going to make it because you got to make it in time and there you go i actually got the silver medal right there and if in fact you get a bronze silver or a gold 
you actually get awarded a free car. And this is just one of the first missions in the game. But again, it's a mission that I had a lot of difficulty with. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. But clearly you can see that I got past it. I got my class B license. And now I got to move on and get that class A license. So definitely look forward to that. I'm going to be sharing that with you guys. Once I get gold in every single one, you got to get gold in all 10 of these in order to get the class A a license now one thing another thing that i would recommend for you guys if in fact you just started playing the game because the first missions there's no way of getting past the first missions you've got to do all the first missions and you're going to collect all the cars that you might not want because you have the option of going to get the used cars in the very beginning right and with the budget they give you when you start out, you only have about like 20,000 credits. You can only get like a hatchback vehicle, but you're gonna, you're gonna win those vehicles in those races in the first couple races. There's no way of getting past that. You're gonna get those vehicles anyway. I suggest if in fact you had an additional like three dollars, buy a a hundred thousand tokens and buy yourself a nicer vehicle for the beginning races because you're gonna you the the whole objective of the game is to collect all the cars so rather than spend all your money on a hatchback in the very beginning because you're gonna earn those cars you're gonna win them in races anyway just uh spend some money on a nicer vehicle as you guys can see here my first car was the m3 sport evolution the 98 or is that or the 89 i'm sorry but anyways yeah i just love that car because i love the headlights but uh anyways i'm gonna leave it at that guys uh i hope this video helped you out and uh catch you in the next one